We're going to talk about bipod applications. Uh, they're not that different from tripod applications. They're actually a little more versatile in some ways. Remember your oppositional force theory uh, with your back ties. And there's a couple of things that we need to consider. Uh, the primary one is we're always looking at the footprint that occurs from the load point. So whether our bipod is center mass, whether it's articulated forward, whether it's articulated backward, that footprint for that load concept is always directly and vertically in line with the blow point from the head of the tripod. In this application here, you can see that we're very near vertical with a slight deflection forward. So because we have slightly deflected forward, uh, we've anchored the legs of the Paratech bipod to the railings of this system up here. We've also ensured that we've put a tension back tie from base plate to base plate. As the load squats the bipod, you want to ensure that your bipod feet are not going to extend out. On the Paratech bipod itself, at the head of the bipod, you can see two red lines. Those lines are your line indicator markers for a maximal 60 degree extension or flexion. So we can add extensions, add length to our legs, and extend the distance between those base plates up to a maximum of 60 degrees. As soon as those two red lines are parallel to one another, you've reached your maximal um, foot spread. We want to ensure, just like with tripod operations, that we create uh, optimal vertical height. We want to make sure that we pre-rig before we arrange this in an upright position. And then we're going to go ahead and get the bipod itself situated, lashed, and tensioned. <clears throat> As this bipod deflects one way or the other, not only do we have to resist those forces oppositionally at the base, we've got to uh, take care of that same application up at the head of the bipod. So in this application, we're applying a lot of lateral force going towards the downward side. So we've put in a tension back tie at the head rigging element of the bipod running directly in opposition to those loads and forces being applied and then tension that component up. Bipods, uh, the Paratech bipod pod is very, very simplistic and very versatile. Here we're using two 610 struts with two 435s or four foot extensions. You can, the same rules apply with the golds as they do in vertical shoring applications. So one strut, one extension, whether you're using the 610s, the 812s, whether you're using two 35s, four 35s or 635s, you can get some really significant height with this bipod and, and it's very quick and easy to manipulate.